Thank you. Thank you for coming this morning. We got some really exciting stuff to share with you. Uh, before we do, I just wanted to mention this. Uh, uh, enough said. So let's get on with the real topic of this morning, which is music. We're going to talk about music today, and we've got some really fun new offerings. So we're adding some new content to iTunes today. The first thing we're adding is HD TV shows. The high def shows will be just a dollar more at $2.99, and you can watch them on your computer. This is a first. The second thing we're adding is that NBC is coming back to iTunes for this season. Maybe the biggest thing, though, with iTunes today is we're introducing iTunes 8, the next major release of iTunes. It's got a ton of new stuff in it, uh, but uh, I want to cover the few main pieces. Uh, the biggest, one, uh, biggest ones are, of course, HD TV shows, which we just discussed. Accessibility. Uh, we've had a lot of requests for this. We've built in VoiceOver and all of our other accessibility technologies into iTunes. So it's accessible now to even more people. We've got some new browsing in iTunes, which we think you'll like. And we've got something called Genius. So what we're adding in iTunes 8 is the ability to just look at your albums by album cover. And we've added this little bar at the top, right? Albums, artists, genres, and composers. And you can look at anything graphically by album art in these four categories. And we're introducing a new feature called Genius. Genius is pretty cool. What Genius does, it allows you to automatically make playlists from songs in your music library that go great together with just one click. And all I do is I go down and I push this Genius button right here, and boom, I've made a Genius playlist. So that's iTunes 8. And it's available today as a free download at apple.com. So go get it and try it out and let us know what you think. Let's start off with the iPod Classic. Now, the iPod Classic is the iPod that started it all. And uh, we've offered it in two models, a thin and a thick. But almost everybody has wanted the thin one. And so we're going to discontinue the thick and just focus on the thin one. Uh, it's held 80 gigabytes for $249. As of today, we're upgrading the 80 gigabytes to 120 gigabytes at the same $249. So iPod Classic for this holiday season. But we have a new iPod Nano for this holiday season. Let me show it to you now. This is it right here. It's really, really beautiful. And it combines. It combines the best of both worlds, the portrait aspect ratio that people loved, and the same, exactly the same, super high res display in portrait mode. And yet, it is the thinnest iPod we've ever made. It is really beautiful. You can see it's an oval shape. And it fits in beautifully, as you can see, with the line. The first and second generation portrait, but exactly the same high-res screen. I happen to have one in my pocket. Let's go ahead and turn the camera on. This is what it looks like here. And uh, let's zoom in on it. Let me just turn it sideways here. You can really see it like this. You can see it like that, what it really looks like. Isn't that cool? Very beautiful. So I think when you actually see one of these things, you're going to just be blown away with how beautiful it is and how thin it is. So what are some of the features of this new iPod Nano? Well, a new curved aluminum design. It's got curved glass over the display. The glass actually curves. It's very nice, very durable. It's the thinnest iPod we've ever built. It's got an enhanced user interface with some really nice features. We've taken the accelerometer from the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and we've brought it to the iPod Nano. And it does some wonderful things. 
And you can actually create genius playlists right on the Nano itself, even when it's not connected to iTunes. Turn your iPod Nano sideways, you're in cover flow. There's even a voice recording program on, so when it detects a microphone, you can record voice notes to yourself. Now, one other really cool thing about the accelerometer is we have a new feature called Shake to Shuffle. So just take your iPod, shake it, and I just turned on Shuffle. 24 hours for music and four hours for video. Now, there's one thing I haven't really talked about with the new Nanos, which we call it Nanochromatic. They come in some amazing colors, the best colors we've ever done. Johnny and his team came up with some, just some fantastic colors. And here's, here's what they are. We have two models. The first one is going to have an entry price of $149 with 8 gigabytes of memory. And we're going to have a second model with 16 gig at $199. So let's move on to the iPod Touch. And so this is the new iPod Touch. It's got the same gorgeous 3 and a half inch display, but it's even thinner. It is this beautiful contoured stainless steel design. Here's something that's different. This was the number one request we've gotten. We've integrated volume controls into the side. We think that's going to make a lot of people uh, a little happier. We've built in a speaker. Genius playlist creation right on the iPod Touch. We've also built in Nike Plus iPod into the iPod Touch. The receiver's actually built into the product itself. So all you have to do is get the, uh, the transmitter for your shoe, and you're all set to go. Phil's, uh, Phil's going to give us a demo of some games that are not yet out on the market, one that just got out on the market. You've yeah. probably heard about it. It's from EA. A title called Spore, a game from a great European developer, Game Loft. We're going to go into this game, and it's real soccer. Um, called Need for Speed, and this is a version that's brand new coming out later on for all platforms, including iPhone and iPod Touch at the same time. Need for Speed Undercover. The funnest iPod ever. An 8 gigabyte model for a new, much lower price of $229. We've got a 16 gig model for $299, 32 gigabyte for $399. And all three of these models are available starting today. If you have an iPhone, we have a new release of software for the iPhone, 2.1 software update. A 2.1 software update is a big update. It fixes lots of bugs. And it is going to be available this Friday. And having the strongest lineup of iPods we've ever had for holiday season before. Well, thank you all for coming this morning. And uh, go get your hands on some of these new products. I think you're going to love them. Thank you very much. Thank you.